I'm Tiger Jones, host of the most popular TV survival show, Amazonia. The Amazon rainforest is one of God's most fascinating and mysterious creations. Twelve thrill seekers have signed up for the adventure of a lifetime. Their goal? To survive six days in the wild of the Amazon. While battling the elements of the rainforest, teams of two will use their unique skills to solve a variety of challenges, earning a medallion for each one completed. At the end of each challenge, one team will be eliminated until only two remain. These final teams will battle it out to be the first to deliver their medallions to a hidden location. The prize at stake? $100,000. Twelve contestants, six teams, only one will be declared the winner of... Amazonia! Plenty of shade. And I think I hear a water source. That's good. We're going to have to look into getting some direct access to that. These mosquitoes are driving me crazy. Oh, you must be one of the producers on the show. Are, are you lost? TV producer? Me? No way. I'm a contestant on the show. My name's Cruz. Um, you're a contestant? Yeah. I'm, I'm Ace. Nice to meet you. Man, it sure is sweaty out here and muggy. Wait, you have a yellow bandana? Yeah, I do. I was assigned to the Yawana Banana team. It's Yawanawa, and uh, I guess that means we're on the same team. I, I think it's named after one of the indigenous tribes that lives out here, but it's my team too, so we're partners. Cool. Awesome. Well, it's really different out here than I expected. What do you mean? Well, there's no bathrooms. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, you're, you're going to have to get used to doing that out in the great outdoors. <laughs> oh, no. Mom didn't say nothing about that. Your mom? Yeah, she actually signed me up to be on the show. She thought it would be a good idea. And once I got accepted, I thought maybe it would be too. Oh, man, it's going to be a long six days. Yeah, it is. But we're going to get through it, right? Yeah, that's right. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun too. I can't wait for the challenges to start. Yeah. Man, I've never seen trees that high before. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, amazing. yeah, it is. But minus all these mosquitoes, they're driving me crazy. Yeah. Welcome, contestants. All six teams have now safely arrived. This location was specifically chosen so that you can see that God uses his creation to reveal himself to us. You and your partner will face unique challenges that will help you discover a truth about who God is. To uncover these truths and advance in the game, you must locate a medallion and drop it into your team's box. Throughout the game, Tomiki will issue the daily challenges. His wisdom and knowledge of the Amazon is unmatched, so listen carefully to the clues and information he gives you. The Amazon is full of unexpected twists and turns. Applying today's truth will help you in any situation, even ones that seem scary or overwhelming. To uncover the truth, follow this clue. Underneath your flag, a box you'll find. Inside, you'll see two truths and a lie to discover just how your skills apply. The first round of Amazonia starts now. Cool, our first challenge, we're gonna ace it. <laughs> Real funny. Man, after all these years of watching the show, I can't believe the legendary Tamiki is issuing me challenges. It's so crazy. Ace, look, it's a letter for us. You wanna read it? No, you go ahead. Okay. To survive in the Amazon, you must work together as a team, embracing your differences and leaning into your individual skill sets. Inside the box are two envelopes. Each one contains three facts about your partner. Two are true and one is false. The facts you learn about each other will lead you to the medallion you must find in your in order to complete today's challenge. Okay, I've done this before. We need to hurry. Do you see the envelopes in the box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what is this? Right, I'll go first. Okay, go ahead. Number one, Ace broke his or her ankle. 
I'm a he. Go ahead. <laughs> Number one. Ace broke his ankle at a trampoline park when he was eight years old. Number two. Ace has successfully climbed the four highest mountain peaks in the United States. Number three. Ace spent his entire summer vacation after fourth grade camping in the Grand Canyon. No way. You did all those things? Oh. Two of them, yes. Which one do you think is the lie? Um, uh, the one about the ankle. No, um, the one about the mountains. There's no way you climbed all four of those things. Um, well, maybe actually it's the camping because who could spend that long in a tent? Cruz, just pick one. Okay, okay, I'll go with the one with the mountains. Well, that's false. I actually climbed all three of the highest peaks with my dad and Uncle Bert before my 13th birthday. Whoa, you're like Indiana Jones or Tarzan or something. Well, I mean, that's a little extreme, but... So, which one's the lie then? The one about the ankle should have gone with your guess. Okay, okay, your turn. All right. Number one, Cruz can eat three dozen tacos in one sitting. Number two, Cruz has conquered 53 levels of the popular video game Hidden Lam Legends of the Amazon. Number three, Cruz have a, has a fear of chocolate pudding? Wait, none of these can be true, right? Well, actually two of them are 100% true. Scout's honor. Okay, um... I guess I'm gonna go with the one about the video game. No one actually sits around that long to time it would take to complete that many levels. No way. False, my friend. False. It took me 11 hours each day, and sometimes I even skipped lunch. Are you serious? How in the world did you qualify for this show? You, you spend all your time in front of a TV screen. That may be true, but... You'd be pretty surprised with all the things I know about the Amazon because of that video game. It's like I've been here before, at least in a virtual sense. Well, I may not know the specifics about the Amazon, but actually surviving in the Amazon is going to be a little bit different than you think. Well, it's not quite like just trying to keep your avatar alive. Well, I don't know about that because I know a lot. Wait, have you been... Camping before? Do you, do you have any survival skills? You, you've been camping before. Yeah, um, camping. Have I been before? Have you? Mm, no, not at all. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was pretty shocked at myself when I got accepted, but then I figured out surviving can't be that hard. I mean, come on. Great. Do a scream. All this time, I've been applying for four consecutive seasons. I finally get accepted, and I partner with somebody who has no survival skills. Wait, did you hear that? I, I think it's a, I think it's a tiger. Follow me. We've got to find that water source. No, 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 no! Wait, wait, Ace. from that 
video game of yours. Let's just try to concentrate what we're supposed to do and find that medallion. You've already lost so much time. Oh yeah, the medallion. We've got to find it. Yeah. Um, um, I don't get it. Do you think there's some kind of mysterious hidden message on this? Let's try separating the cards. Okay. Okay. Um, what? Oh, wait. <laughs> so this taco card is totally a lie. I can eat four dozen in one sitting. Gross. And this one is the lie for me. Look, there's a cipher on the back. A viper? No, a cipher. Number that represent letters. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll read out the number on mine and you tell me the corresponding letter. Okay. 20. T. 18. R. 5. E. 5. E. Okay, now you Okay. 8. H. 15. O. 21. U. 19. S. 5. E. Treehouse! Cruz, we've got to go back to the ancient treehouse. Let's go get it! I'm coming. I just might be a second or two longer. Me like that. I just want to go home. The jaguar almost ate us, and then that sloth dog gave me a heart attack. Observation of the day the jungle can take us. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you at least a little bit scared, too? Well, yeah, I just feel so tiny and powerless here, but I think we just need to concentrate on finishing today's challenge. Even with all the crazy stuff that's happened, we still found this, and we need to see what kind of truth it reveals. All we have to do. Drop it in this box, okay. and the truth will be revealed to it. Here goes. Ace and Cruz, you've successfully completed your first challenge. This truth will serve you well as you continue to face the challenges of the Amazon. Sometimes we can feel so helpless in this great big world that's full of problems. We forget that the God who made us and who loves us is all-powerful and ready to help us with anything we face. All we have to do is look around at everything God made and see evidence of His power. That's because before time began, there was no universe. Not even the sun or moon existed. It was just a big bunch of emptiness. But God was there. God decided to create the universe and everything in it. And it only took Him six days. Now that may not seem like a very long time to create the entire universe, but God is so powerful that all he had to do to make everything was to speak and it was created. On the very first day, he simply said, let there be light. And immediately, light appeared separating the day from the night. Over the next several days, God continued to create the world. He created the bright blue sky, the big oceans, and all the land. God also created the sun that helps everything grow, a moon in the night sky, and all of the stars in space. And on the fifth day, God created all of the animals that live in the oceans like the great white sharks and the tiny minnows. He also made the birds in the air and the tiny tree frogs that jump on the ground. Then on the sixth day, God made all the other animals like the mighty elephant and the strong crocodile. God wanted someone to enjoy all that he had made so he created a man named Adam and a woman named Eve. Then he told them to have a family and to take care of every living thing on earth. When God had finished creating the world and everything in it, he thought that it was good and he rested. God made every animal that you have ever seen and even some that you haven't. Huh? The deepest ocean, the tallest mountain, and even the most powerful volcanoes were all made by him. Even when we can't see God face to face here on earth, we can look around at what he has created and know that he is powerful. The world we live in serves as a reminder that there isn't anything he can't speak into action or do for us. 
If we find ourselves in the middle of a tough situation, we can remember that nothing is too hard for him because God is all powerful. Yawanawa, you have now advanced to the next round of the competition. Hopefully your experience in the Amazon so far has helped you to see that God reveals himself to us through his creation. It's amazing to think that he spoke and created all of the things around you. As you move forward in the competition and face situations that may seem difficult, remember that God's power is limitless and nothing is too hard for him to do. Man, that's amazing. I've been scared of everything that's happened all day, but Tiger Jones is right. If God is powerful enough to create this entire jungle, he's definitely strong enough to help us. Yeah, we're definitely going to get to know that God is more powerful than any problem that we'll face here. So, does that mean that you're going to stay then? Definitely. I hope all those other teams are prepared for some Yawanawa domination. Yeah. The search for today's medallion created a shocking turn of events as projected frontrunners Nelly and TJ have been eliminated from the competition. For the remaining contestants, tomorrow's challenge awaits. Oh man, I met Nelly on the plane. She seemed like a survival genius. That's shocking. Hmm. I guess we just need to get to working on building a shelter and finding our dinner. Finding our dinner? I thought the producers would bring us like some good spaghetti or something. We can have spaghetti if you want. Worm spaghetti. 